Hello, Wildwood students, and welcome back to Art Masters with me, Mrs. Portia. This month, Art Masters will be working with the Native American art. Similar to last time, we will be working with shape, line, and pattern. So you're going to see um, some examples of patterns that the Native Americans used on their blankets these intricate uh, patterned and designs. If you look behind me, you're gonna see that the Native Americans wore these blankets for their clothing. So notice how in this paint or this drawing, you'll see the lines go with the folds of the person's form. They also really focus on geometric shapes, if you remember from last time as well. So you'll kind of see the head is round, and this body is kind of a triangle with some curvy edges. So we're really gonna be thinking about shapes and form. Uh, this one as well, you see the blanket with the colors, the different lines that go into the folds. So today we're gonna to be working on creating our own form and figure. But when we start, we're actually gonna start upside down. What this does is this turns off our left brain, which is our analytical brain, our logical brain that tells us this is a face, this is a head. So what we want, is we wanna think about shape. Oh, this is a circle. This is a triangle. So we're gonna really get our creative juices working with our Native American art. So go. When we look at this this way, we can tell with our left brain that this is a person, there's a body, and a head and a face. But we're not going to work on that today. Today we're going to be creative and we are going to draw from upside down. Now what this does is this is forcing our other side of our brain, our creative side, to just focus on shape. So we don't have to think about I'm drawing a head, we're thinking about I'm drawing a shape. So I really want you to just get that out of your mind and we're just looking for shapes. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to draw a horizontal line. This is about halfway through the paper. I'm going to do it about half through the half. So like a quarter of the way down. This does not have to be perfect. This is just with a pencil. Very lightly sketch. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're just getting a horizon line. As you can see, this also has a horizon line. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my big shapes. The big shape I see here is I'm seeing this big triangle blob. So I'm going to draw this triangle blob. And I see that this blob goes over this horizon line. And it almost takes up the entire width. So it's not a tiny triangle. It's a pretty big triangle blob. So I'm gonna start my blob, looks like it curves, and I'm gonna bring the blob up, and I notice there's a lot of space from the top down, so I'm gonna make sure I have some space. Uh, I, this looks kind of like a strange circle, so I'm gonna kind of do this circle shape. So I'm sketching really lightly, maybe I'll sketch a little darker so you guys could see but I want you to sketch very lightly. So I'm seeing this shape kind of go down and in, and then it comes back down. There's some space here, so I'm gonna leave space there. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and draw. I'll freeze it on this picture on the next slide so you can see it. Don't think about faces and bodies. Think about shapes and negative space. And go ahead and lightly sketch your drawing. of the figure is done you're going to want to go ahead and turn it over so now it's facing the right way 
So I'm going to go over my pencil a little bit over where my horizon line is. You can erase a little bit of your lines if you have any of these extra sketch marks like I had. Just clean it up a little bit. It does not have to be perfect because we'll add detail in a moment. You can erase this horizon line. Like I said, we're going to go over it with some color so it doesn't have to be perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and get our chalk or our soft chalk pastels, which hopefully you got. If you did not, you can just use regular colored pencil, but I'm going to show you a soft pastel technique. Um, I always called it smudging. <laughs> so we're going to use our scrap piece of paper. If you didn't get one of these, go ahead and grab a piece of computer paper um, and then come back to me. So I'm going to put this right over where my horizon line was. And this is just protecting this part. So we're gonna do the ground. So I'm gonna use some earth tones. I got an orange. I'm coloring really hard to get dust. So you wanna make sure you don't breathe the dust. I'm gonna do some yellow. And I'm gonna do green. We're gonna take some tissue or toilet paper Dab it, hold down your paper, and you're just going to smudge some color. Underneath the figure, you could do some darker colors for shadow. And then you're gonna go ahead and just repeating those steps until you fill in your ground, especially around this edge. Okay, I'll go in and finish that in a moment, but I just want you to see. So you'll see, now you have space. And now we're gonna do that for the figure. So the figure we could use whatever colors we want. Use a different part of your tissue. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna fill in with your different so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this fast forward. You can watch and then go ahead and do it on your own and then I'll meet you again for details. So at this point, you should have your color down. You can notice how I have mine very light and soft. You'll see how I used, um, sometimes I colored just a little bit around the edge and then I smeared it. I used the side of my chalk for the top of the sky and then I smeared. But you wanna make sure you leave some light colors down here to add contrast and gives you some horizon. So now we're gonna do some details. So for the hair, I didn't have brown for the hair, so you could pick whatever color you want for the hair. I just didn't have a good um, chalk for the hair. So I'm just gonna take my colored pencil. So now we're kind of using our left brain again. Okay, we know this is hair. I already see the shape. So we're gonna go over our hair, our face. So we could actually see what we're doing here a little bit. Forehead, nose. We're gonna go over our blanket outline. So the quality of your line is actually very interesting too. You could do some thin lines and thicker lines. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the details of our blanket we're gonna do our patterns. So you wanna go along the folds of the blanket. I'm gonna use my blue colored pencil 
and going to start at the top and I'm going to follow my lines of the fold. This is going to make our body seem like it has shape and it's not just this flat drawing. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll finish that. Then you're going to add the different shapes. Hopefully you have a sheet with some shape examples and pattern examples. If you don't, I'll put it on the next slide. And then you can go ahead and you're going to go over your pastel with your colored pencils for all of the detail. And you can go ahead and watch me finish this sped up. today everyone thank you so much for joining me for art masters with native american art things to remember let's think about patterns which are the repeated shapes and lines when you're looking at each other's art if you get to go back to class and you have a chance to look at each other's art maybe you could point out the different shapes that you see the different patterns and lines the colors and then remember the harmony harmony painting is laid out, how the objects relate to each other. So great job. I hope you guys get to see each other's work and I'll see you next month for Art Masters.